and the connection binding the people who live here. But as we break into the merriment of Christmas, we'll be asking how much of the past has been retained. Even on Christmas, he's busy on uh, with work. I can see you have a lot of uh, cultural works to oversee with the city boiling up in merriments and activities celebrating Christmas. In Banjul, it's really special. Yes, driver, thank you very much. I think we have to share the joy uh, with the people of Banjul. As the custodian of the city, we have to be here and then share the joy. And I can see uh, since morning after the uh, church mass uh, by Christians, I mean the whole city got together, Muslims and Christians as one uh, to celebrate the day. I mean we've been seeing a lot of cultural activities, I mean uh, masquerades, uh, devil fairies, masks coming out in different trends and designs. I mean how was it in the former days? It must have been beautiful uh, for Banjul to retain a culture like this. I think Ibrahim, that is the beauty of Banjul and that is the beauty of Gambia. The majority of the population of the Gambia are Muslims, but then we coexist with our Christian brothers and sisters, you know, and everybody coming to the Gambia will see that unique, uh, uniqueness in the Gambian culture. Uh, recently, these days, we have had uh, things happening in Nigeria between Muslims and Christians, you know, but that is not happening here in the Gambia. And that is why if you go around town, as you have seen, you know, there is merriment both Muslims and Christians coming together. This has always been a uh, trend, and that we owe to our parents and generations that were here before. If there was that bickering, and if there was that enmity between the uh, two religions, then we wouldn't have been able to have what we have today. But thank God, uh, the tradition is continuing. We are all in it together, and we are all in, in, in happy mood and we always look forward to it, even though it's a Christian holiday. Now, are these, I mean, maze of activities must accord Banjul some exposure. I mean, we spoke to some uh, tourists along the way that they actually from uh, England and are in the Gambia for the first time and choose to celebrate Christmas in Banjul. I mean, they are having, I mean, a wealth of, I mean, delights. I mean, celebrating the diversity Banjul is providing. This is really good for tourism. Uh, you know, Banjul has two unique uh, potentials or two unique things, streets. One it is the economic capital. During the day, you know, despite uh, the fact that we have a population of about 35,000, but every day we receive almost 400,000 people because everybody comes into Banjul for economic activities. Or order. Yeah, in the afternoon is dead. But when it comes to uh, holidays, public holidays like this, you know, Christmas, New Year. Banjul is the Banjul place, is you, the want place. To you know, everybody <laughs> comes to Banjul. Really? So we are proud of that from morning till uh, midnight, going after midnight, everybody is in Banjul because it's the cultural hub mm -hmm. uh, during these festivities. Your advice to the young, younger generation, uh, a lot of them are attempting to preserve a very beautiful culture that can add a lot of uh, color to our traditions and help to expose the country. What is your word for them? Uh, let them not dilute the culture. Let them maintain the tradition and let them be peaceful and let them continue to coexist as brothers and sisters and as Gambians. Now in Banjul, celebrations don't easily die out. Christmas especially steers a host of festivities which climax on New Year's Eve when the capital's cultural elders bring the past home again with brilliant performances by various hunting societies, most of whom are presently gearing up for hair-raising carnivals in the upcoming days leading to the New Year. Merry Christmas. You fake ko se atu bare 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 bare. Sube wen na re nyaw yanna mel ni ren. Amin. Yalla dundal jiar ki este barkel len. Amin ya rabbi. Ndaw yi fa nek yanna len yalla may fan bu dal wer bu. Amin. Ni wess nak suñ president bu waaw. Happy Christmas muy president bu bax di alhaji Cheikh Professor Yaya Ejeje. Here we meet 
FC United. These are the youngsters of D Road coming together for a big time celebration of Christmas. We'll be speaking to one of them. I mean, uh, what prompted? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, a celebration of Christmas like this. It's like the whole of D Road coming together as one. Yeah, uh, of course. You know, uh, it's, uh, this is this is uh, this year because we have two teams there. Our, our street. There are two teams there. Yes. You, you have Johnson B, you have three points. Yes. So now we come together to form one unity. So you're yeah. making it big this time around? Yeah, we're making it big. And we are going to, uh, today and the New Year's Day, we are going to surprise everyone. Now, this uh, is a tradition, very strong tradition, yeah. which has helped over the years, yeah. I mean, to bring a lot of people, yeah. different people together. Yeah. Now, you as the future younger generation, yeah. I mean, of uh, the city, are coming now, if you are coming to preserve it, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, what does this mean for the future? Anyway, for the future, it's just to bring people together to, say, uh, to make sure that the, the religious, we are all one. Muslim and Christian, we are all one. We were created to just to bring unity okay. within within the youth. And you hope to strengthen this environment. Yeah, yeah. We hope to strengthen everything. Thank you so yeah. much, sir. Thank you, Ibrahim. Thank Actually, when we were younger, we didn't have uh, hunting on Christmas days. Normally, hunting was organized by the big societies, and they, it's only on New Year's Day and at Easter Monday. That is the time that hunting used to come out. But initially, you used to have what you call makalos, 